we were talking about was uh, finding out about hiring someone to do that. Is that correct? Is that what your motion is? I see you hiring the individuals you're talking about. <laughs> the most inclusive, the individuals you're talking about, Philip Morris and David Simmons. I mean, I know for a fact Philip Morris is sitting up there wondering, what am I going to do this afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> He's busy. And, uh, Have a beer with Mike and David and Vicky, you know. <laughs> so I understand what Matt is saying, that perhaps after we finish this motion, we can have a further discussion of yeah. what elements we can give that committee to help shape their, their search. Is that? Okay. Well, it, it seems to me that we have this health improvement plan but we don't have an implementation plan, which is what we need, and we're kind of casting around how are we going to figure that out. And I would submit that the people who have been really involved in corralling this, herding this forward, um, would have input as to what an implementation plan would require. It might require hiring someone, it might require something else, but I think, I mean, Phil is right, those people are very busy and they have a lot on their plates. And I know um, David and Philip are both working with multiple um, directions and projects and not just healthcare in the case of, of um, the city manager. Healthcare is not within our purview of work directly. So even though it's important to us and it does affect us and we want to be Part of it, it is not a direct um, mandate of the city. So I'm wondering how, I mean, it's fine to let them do that, but I'm not sure that they would have a month, I don't know. I feel like they need uh, some more people with the direct information of what it's mm -hmm. going to take to implement this um, in the conversation because that would be created. I mean, there are benchmarks in here, there are uh, data circuits in here uh, for strategies and goals, but what's going to happen when their lead agencies, all of that coordination, I mean, it, it needs more fleshing out, so I think there needs to be something in between. Well, I think first of all, we need to adopt it. Yes, I, I think what, what I'm suggesting is that first we need the funding to find somebody who can really put the time and expertise into it, who would then help us figure out how to monitor, how to measure, because ultimately that is going to be the goal, that, that's going to be the responsibility of the, the elected official, is to be able to monitor the progress. In the meantime, as I forget who it was, maybe it was Junior said, um, some of these implementations by the immunization group, for example, are already happening. Mm -hmm. And so I think is that I think just the awareness that we have of these issues and of these strategies, I think we're going to see some implementation go along. But meanwhile, we need somebody with the brains and time and energy to sort of help us monitor and, and overview. And overview. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was thinking uh, maybe uh, we want to add uh, Four individuals uh, or their designee. Uh, yeah. That might be to your motion, to amending your motion. To, to do what? To, to say or their designee. You know, so so or they or their designee. Fine. 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 Curious about you know Mari's you know are we having a course before um, which is the way it usually goes so it's the cart yeah. before the horse that is the problem um, that perhaps that when each of the boards discuss.
discuss and move this into acceptance that there from each of the board becomes the directive that we need to find funding for it. And then that would be already directing our individual. Um, the need be for more. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I am sensitive to we're talking about a motion on something that we have not passed yet. Yeah, we have one on the floor. Which is the yeah. procedure. Well, um, I mean, I think the truth is we could have used this person within the last three years. It would have helped this process tremendously. So it's really all we're saying is um, uh, both boards are totally supportive of potentially additional funding to make this community health improvement process uh, work on a continuous basis for the betterment of our community. Um, I'd say there's I mean, there's no chance we're gonna just like say no, we're just gonna throw this thing out. I mean, we might get edited some, but this is a huge amount of work that's gonna need um, implementation. So I, I think it's no time like the present to say, um, get together and come up with a solid plan and request whatever funding you need. Do we throw a motion before? Yes. I think we throw a motion before. So maybe we could further uh, amend it to say contingent upon Sure. Yeah, I, I, I just think for, for, yeah, for, for process, you know, I, I, it, that, that feels better to be taking an action on something that is done by so. so So maybe if I could um, rephrase the motion with the appropriate amendments as I heard them. All of them. Is that, um, we hereby uh, request that the, um, let's see, what should we call them? That the uh, administrators, that uh, the administrators or CEOs of the hospital district, the county, the city, and the health board um, meet to uh, recommend a funding opportunity for a professional person to direct uh, the um, overview and implementation of our community health improvement plan uh, pending adoption by both the Board of Health and the Board of Public Hospital District Commission. Or their designees. Right, or their designees. Or their designees, yes. Excuse me, I forgot. Good job. Yeah. I'm impressed. I was thinking, I'm sitting here thinking, manager of the city when when I feel like that kind of work could be done by say people consulting with and finding the four people who put this together who are obviously enthusiasts about the project and um, might be very interested in doing exactly what our and managers and administrators have no time for. Well, if I could just if I could just say that the city was intimately involved in this community health improvement plan, their uh, police chief um, and others were involved in different parts of this because they are affected. In particular, with the issue of chemical dependency, uh, the use of naloxone, um, which was one of the recommendations. Um, so I think, although it is not the city's main purview, I think that the fact that David Timmons is here shows me that the city does have an interest. The city does have an interest. Um, I agree. The question of expertise in figuring out the implementation plan, I think, is what Phil is bringing up. And I think it's a valid point. Um, so 
I, I do kind of question that myself still. At this point, uh, I think we're really talking about funding in uh, terms of the budget. Uh, and, that, and we all know that our budgets are challenged. We don't quite do as much as we'd like to be able to do. So in there are those priorities within there and the balance of how that proposal comes forward. But uh, the motion is not to hire someone, it's to come up with an idea for funding right. only. If it's strictly for funding. That's exactly what the motion is. Okay. Strictly right. for funding. Strictly for funding, not for the hiring. To, to investigate and come up with an idea. Maybe they can't, but. Um, well, let me ponder this a moment. Uh, we can take uh, comments from the audience. Well, there is a motion on the floor, which we probably should. Is on the motion? It's related. I have a question or a reflection from somebody who's not intimately in the process. It sounds like what you're talking about is finding a point person who's gathering all the input from the stakeholders and then disseminating it back out. Somebody who's very intimate with creating and maintaining timelines, mm -hmm. who's an excellent communicator, um, and who's very organized. Is that what I'm hearing correctly? Is what you're talking about? Okay. That's part of it. I think how more than that. I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> but the job description till t still could be defined. Right, yeah, right. It's not. And it's maybe more than one person. So there is a motion on the floor, Mr. Chairperson. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, other questions? Okay. I have a question about the process for edits. Um, first of all, I mean, this was a remarkable effort um, put forth by the authors, the four authors of this. But as we discussed a year ago in the different groups, there was not really clear uniformity of the use of the terms goals and objectives. And so there, there is some um, discongruity, if that's the correct word, in terms of some of the objectives and the goals, in terms of how they're stated. Um, so if we have some edits during the next week or two, to whom should those be directed and how, what, what do you see as the process for that? Okay, uh, these meetings first. You can send them to me and I'll, I'll, I'll disseminate them. To you, John? Yep. Yeah, no, okay. Um, and then, I, if I could just add, there, there were a few things that somehow fell through the cracks. Uh, one of them was at our chemical dependency meeting when I first brought up the topic of Suboxone as uh, the treatment of choice for uh, people who are addicted to opiates, and Tom Locke was there and, and uh, spoke very positively about that and even gave a presentation to the, uh, the board um, of Jefferson Healthcare. And for some reason that, unless I missed it in the read on the bus here <laughs> from Seattle this morning, for some reason the Suboxone question as an activity, getting more providers trained and uh, capable of um, prescribing Suboxone did not make it into the activity. So I just wanted to mention that, that that would be one of the edits that I would like to submit um, because that was discussed and was in an earlier draft. If you email that to me, I'll do the research and know what. What's that? What, if you email that to me, I'll do yeah. the research and we'll find out what happened. We'll be happy to do it. When is the health activity? October 16, I believe. 19. 19. And we're the 23rd. Okay, the 20th, 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 20th. Okay. So, if there's edits and those come to the second one, we have to uh, adopt or not. I thought there's a conference committee and negotiate. Uh, <laughs> but probably, uh, you know, go first to the hospital commission and then accept it before the next day. And then we'll be done. Any plans? Edits of John first. See what happens in the meeting with public comments. Okay. So
So we'll have an opportunity again after we hear public comment right now. To, uh, well, I was thinking public comment throughout this time. You know, yeah, to yeah. the hospital commission to for an hour at those meetings because we have public comment there too. Uh, so uh, it could be that last catch that somebody has, you know. And, you know none of us looked at it that way. Now we see it that way and we need to alter it. You know, that happens sometimes. On the road show, do you put uh, I appreciate these comments, and I think that that is of such a critical issue that it needs to be in this plan so that we are monitoring it and measuring it. Because as Vicki so aptly said, if we're not measuring it at the top, it may not get done to our satisfaction. So um, I will continue to push to have at least that issue as part of the, part of the plan. Yeah, so we have, have a process here.
what's known as the Community Health Assessment, which is a compilation of all the uh, uh, valid information we have relating to, to health in Jefferson County. And, and it's a very incomplete picture. Uh, and and where the, the great hope of supplementing that is uh, has to do with tapping into the new electronic health records. And that, that's, that's still in its infancy, but it is developing. Uh, there, there really is no registry that I'm aware of that looks at all the things that we're doing. I mean, you can, you can have individual organizations can make those kind of reports, uh, but uh, uh, I, I'm not sure that would even be that, that valuable. Uh, an awful lot of the, the things that we're doing and spending vast sums of money on, it's very hard to document that they're actually making a difference. Uh, so. Uh, and and what, what we're really trying to do in this kind of process is look at outcomes, really rigorously focus on, on deciding what is a good outcome, what do we really want to, uh, to happen, and then uh, figure out how we can actually measure that and, and measure it in a practical, sustainable way. So that, that, that's what makes these, these things so difficult to do. Uh, if it was just a matter of you know, having a wish list, you know, we can probably do that in a long afternoon. Uh, but, but wish lists don't turn into healthier communities. Yeah. So um, I think uh, a, a big question is when are we going to meet again as going forward to check in on this process? And I, I'm just sitting here thinking if we literally don't do this again for a year, it, that we might, that might be way too long. Um, but I don't. Um, I think it's important. It will help us, even just as a board, to know we're checking in on this again. At 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, make a so proposal. I, I think, I'm thinking at least uh, in six months. So I'd make a motion that the joint board uh, meet again in six months. Second. Yeah. March. Second. So are we in discussion on the motion? I heard a friendly amendment yeah. motion. I didn't get a second though. Second. You didn't get a second for amending it to quarterly. I would say. <laughs> At least initially, I think that's a great idea because you know, in three months we'll have some idea as sort of how the heck are we going to go forward with this? Do we have the money? Who's going to do it? And. Uh, whether we then go to every six months or whatever, let's meet in. Let's see, when's three months? Is that, it's, uh, is that the holidays? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Number How about January? January. How about January? How about January? How about January? Yeah. How about third week instead of quarter? I, I'd like to amend it to January. Then we can decide everything after that, just the next meeting. Once again, second. All right. Got a second? Second. Okay. All right. Meet again. Convene again in January to assess where we are. Any further discussion? Not all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, anything else before I open it up for public comment? Okay. Is there anybody in the public that would like to address <coughs> process of each body, I would think. Uh, each body has their own process for 
Diane Fagan from the Board of Health. Uh, it would be on the agenda. You would have a chance to comment, the public comment. They can, uh, at the discretion of the board, uh, of the chair, they can usually open up the floor to the public for an issue that's on the agenda. Uh, so people would have a chance to have some last minute input uh, before we make our decision. So, John, would you let us know if there were a big change in our recommendation? Sure, I'd be happy to. I was <coughs> expecting people to honor this this body of work, yeah, okay. you bet. but there's always the possibility of exceptions, or additions, or changes. Yeah. Well, when I hear edits, I'm thinking more housekeeping type edits as opposed to substantive, because this did go through the public process, if you will, and I think it's very important at this point in time, this iteration represent the, the public involvement and process that went into making it. So I would be open to housekeeping, but not really substantive changes at this point, and that's my personal point of view. And it would have to go through majority of both boards. Mm -hmm. You look at it. Well, and I would also um, note that the full strategic framework, the, uh, the, the, the really, a lot of the meaty action steps that were identified and some of those kinds of things still exist and are posted on our um, our website that tie back to these goals and objectives. So it, the, the body, the large body of work that was done in significant more detail in those strategic frameworks does exist and that has not been lost. That is all um, uh, available to the public on on our website. Anything else in public? I think, and I did have okay. one other question in terms of the edits editing process. If we are taking this out to community groups, this document clearly said draft. 